Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you even remember who I am. In case you don't, my name is Miles Da. Welcome to Da Family, where we make every single day the absolute greatest. Roll the intro. We're gonna get this special video started. Here we go. Welcome, 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 welcome to Da Family. Okay, so today. We are going to be riding the motorcycle. You might be like, isn't it the middle of November? It was snowing in your last video. Yes, yes, you're right. You also might be asking, why are you putting on a tie? What's up with your shirt? Like I said, it's a special video and I don't remember how to tie a tie, but we're gonna go ride the motorcycle in dress clothes. I don't know if it's gonna be anything special. I've always wanted to do it. It looks super awesome. I've seen a few people do it when I'm like in big cities and I've always wanted to be one of those people, so I'm going to take you guys along. I'm going to put a couple of GoPros on the motorcycle, and well, the motorcycle needs to be ran. As soon as uh, this comes back to me, we're gonna get on with the video. Gonna wow, you guys are probably like, what is this kid doing? I don't know. Now I'm not sure if you guys have even ever seen me in a tie before let alone probably been in my closet. Once I get my ties tied once, I never undo them because I know it's gonna take me 10 minutes at least to get it tied the next time. We're gonna be on the motorcycle, so it'll probably get messed up anyways. And I'm hesitant to even take my tie clip because I love these things. And if I were to lose this, I'd be really upset. Like, is it worth it if I don't put the tie clip on? The tie clip is 50% of the tie. 25% of it is the pattern. 25% of it is how you tie it. That's mathematically correct if you don't know. I have a small obsession with ties. Healthy obsession. A small healthy obsession. Boom! Oh! Oh! Heck yeah! I'm excited. This is gonna go great. Because if it doesn't go great, it's gonna go great. Now, another question you may have is, wait, didn't he sell his motorcycle? Again, you are correct, but that doesn't mean I don't have one to ride. Boom. I don't have my own. He is not here, so I'm gonna take his. If you don't know, it's my brother's. So, Colby, if you're watching, thanks. I should probably move it out. Get GoPros rigged up and everything on my helmet and on the bike, and then uh, well, it's gonna get colder sooner than later, so we gotta get going. All right, guys, oh, welcome. I know you can't see me because this is my GoPro now, but uh, holy cow, am I super excited to get back on a bike! Oh my goodness! All right, back tire is already slipping out from under me a little bit. I don't know if it was because I was spinning or if it's just not warm enough. The torque. I missed the torque. And it's an absolutely gorgeous day. I forgot how amazing 50 degrees was. I'm like shaking in nervousness and excitement and just adrenaline. Oh, cat or a demon? Woo, I don't know. I could beat him. That's all that matters. Oh my gosh, boys. Oh my gosh. Did you hear those pops? 
not even the full satisfaction that it's like a bike, but also that I'm finally driving a manual vehicle again. with the wave. It's the only reason why I came out riding today. I just wanted to get that motorcycle man all man waving. Oh, I was talking and I killed it. That was nice. Wow. You know guys, I haven't hit 100 mile an hour in a little while, so uh, we're gonna hope that there's no cops in front of me and just, uh, guys so uh i figured as i would drive i'd be talking also but i did a very very poor job on my part of doing that so before this ends here really soon i'm going to try to communicate with you so i have been unmotivated lazy just not not doing great down in the dumps not feeling great i was sick for a couple of days but honestly that's not that much of an excuse i just i don't know i didn't even need to take a break it was unneeded unwanted i just got trapped in a cycle of not doing anything and uh in that cycle I haven't filmed, and so I have nothing to edit or upload for you guys. I have just not done a good job at all of filming, and uh, I need to do better. So, as I was saying, I've been trying to think of things to film and upload for you guys. I have done an awful job. It has been way too long. And the longer that I don't film, the worse I feel about it. And then the worse I feel about it, the more I don't want to film. That is one of the biggest challenges that I have to continue forward with my YouTube channel. Because first off, if this is going to be one of the things I want to pursue in life, then I got to work at it. And I got to work hard at it. I got to work for a long time. And I know this and I'm ready for it. And I'm so, so ready to get over the challenges. It makes me so happy to sit here and talk to you guys. Like, I absolutely love doing this. And once I finally get a video like this filmed, it makes me never want to stop filming. The worst, 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 absolute worst part of doing this is I have to find an end to edit, upload, and start over. It's crazy, guys. Honestly, if I could tell you one thing about me doing my YouTube, it's follow your dreams. If there's one thing that you were looking to get done, get it done today because tomorrow may never happen. And it's quotes like that that keep me going and keep me motivated and show myself that I need to do this, otherwise it may not happen. Heck, I'm out there riding a motorcycle with huge five-ton cars beside me, five-ton trucks, huge semis rolling down the street by me. One wrong move and that could be the end of it. So... First off, be safe out there. Look twice for those motorcycle riders. Riders, if you are out there, 
don't be stupid. Uh, a lot of things I do, I would consider stupid. So don't mimic what I do. It's not a good idea. But thank you guys so much for being here. I hope this video was good. I don't even know what I'll have. This is the weirdest video that I've probably ever done, especially following up the videos that I just did, which seems to be a theme. I put out a bunch of good, good videos like Ice Cream Cruise, Cars and Coffee, Cars and Colors, and then this last one of SEMA. And right after each one of these huge events, I put out like one, two, maybe three like videos of what is this kid even doing? What is he like thinking? What's going through this kid's head? And I'm asking those questions too. Don't worry. You're not the only ones asking these questions. If you are out there working hard, trying to complete your dreams, I highly, highly want to motivate you and inspire you guys to dig deep in your hearts and find the might in your soul to get on those dreams, conquer your goals, and continue to push forward, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for your support. If you haven't already, smash that subscribe button. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and if you could do me one huge favor of just sharing it with a friend, showing a family member. Guys, spread the word because this movement is coming. Thank you so much. I love all of you. Peace out. Just as a quick reminder to all of those who stay to the very, very end of these videos, new vacation is coming up, guys. I'm going somewhere here very soon. I'm not sure how much I'm going to film on it. And I know you're probably thinking, why do you take so many vacations? I don't know either, but apparently all my money is burning holes in my pockets that I just can't control. I got to get rid of it. So, vacation, vacation, vacation. Las Vegas, Colorado, and now Virginia, guys. We're going, and, uh, well, we're going to see somebody there that's very familiar. So, bye. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Here. Bye.